What is the difference between Xanax and Ativan? Both are benzos. Both have a bunch of warnings on the warning labels. Both are highly addictive benzos, but what is the difference between them both? I have been prescribed Xanax uh, multiple different times in my life. I have taken Ativan now, and this is really what the difference between both are, because both are in the benzodiazepine family. Both are highly addictive, both are sedatives, but there is a big difference between the two of them. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. I like to share from personal experiences, just for anybody out there struggling, that you don't have to go through life alone. So click the little like and subscribe button, comment down below, love to know your thoughts on it. So benzos are designed to help with panic, anxiety, when it gets out of control. It's something that I've dealt with multiple different times in my life, whether it was getting sober, whether it was life challenges, I lost a wife and a father to suicide, uh, whether it was just, you know, marriage. There's been multiple different reasons for the anxiety. But taking both of these drugs, both do act very differently. And the big difference between them both, both hit your central nervous system, both calm you down, both slow you down. They are both sedatives, so it kind of just, it takes you from up here to right here. And you start to breathe. It's like your brain starts to breathe. But the big difference is Xanax hits your system a lot quicker. Xanax hit my system within about 15 minutes. Um, 10 to 15 minutes, I could feel the effects of Xanax in my system. Um, Ativan took twice as long to feel any of the effects. When Xanax hit my system, Xanax hit a lot stronger, a lot harder, a lot quicker. Um, Ativan was a lot more gradual. Also, they both didn't last the same time. So Xanax usually would get out of my system right at about four to maybe five hours. Uh, when I would take Xanax, I would take a quarter of a bar of Xanax or half of a, of a um, five milligram of, of Xanax, and it would calm me down. When it would be in my system, I would still be productive. I wasn't very lethargic. Um, it allowed me just to be functioning. It allowed me to fight through my anxiety. Ativan hit my system a lot, a lot slower, hit it a little bit harder, and it lasted a lot longer. Uh, Ativan lasted, even though it took about twice as long to hit me, it lasted in my system about twice as long. So it was about eight hours. I used Ativan to help me sleep one night. The, the anxiety was just too much. And when I woke up, it was still in my system. And you can tell when this is in your system still because you do feel the mental difference of not really caring. <laughs> you, you don't really have a care in the world. You're very calm. You also are a little bit lethargic. Uh, in the sense that you don't really want to move a whole lot. Uh, moving is almost too much effort. You'd rather just sit there and just be okay. Um, Xanax didn't hit me to a, a real hard lethargic state. Um, I was still pretty productive with Xanax. Uh, Xanax was a tool. I think it might have been though because I got used to Xanax. Um, both of them did have that same feeling. When I took Xanax though, I didn't really sleep. I wasn't really tired. Ativan though helped me actually sleep. I don't know if that was just because I had it in my thought process, like, hey, I really need to sleep. I'm not doing okay. I need something to help knock me out. Versus Xanax I would take during the daytime when things got too much. So the big difference between the two, even though they are in the same drug class, is that Ativan does take a lot longer to get in your system. It gets out of your system a lot, a lot longer than what Xanax. Xanax is in and out. Ativan just kind of takes its time and just keeps going. And when it comes to any of the benzos, though, you have to be aware that they are addictive medications. They do have addictive properties to them. Um, there is a detox to them if you do get addicted. They're not meant to be on for a prolonged period of time. Uh, they're meant to be on for a short period of time to be able to help you push through. And it is one of those that you want to get with the doctor. You want to get with a the therapist. And you want to have that help and support going through it uh, and working through whatever you're taking the medication for. One of the worst things you can do is get it from your neighborhood uh, street pharmacist because there are pill presses out there. Fentanyl is very, very abundant now. And in every drug out there, pretty much, they'll put fentanyl in. So you have to be very cautious of what you're taking. My, my whole thing is anytime it comes to any kind of medications, make sure that you get with your doctor. Make sure that you get the prescription. You take the prescription to a pharmacy and get that prescription from the pharmacy you know, before you do anybody else. It's all about safety. If you are feeling like you're addicted to it, you get to the point that you can't stop it. 
let your therapist know. There's AA out there. There's NA out there. There's a lot of different resources out there if you do struggle with addiction. Uh, and get with those and start to fight through it because I've been there. I'm, I'm an addict myself. I'm an addict in recovery, five years sober. Uh, alcohol and cocaine were my drugs of choice. Benzos were not. But they do have that ability to destroy your life also. But they do have the ability to help your life too. I'm a very big fan of Xanax. Um, it helped me when I needed it most of my life. So don't be afraid of the medication. If you have any fears of it, talk to your therapist, talk to your psychiatrist about it. And calm those fears. Find what works for you because you're the one that matters. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts.